Sean Loves Sharks, written by Curtis Manley, illustrated by Tracy Subasek. Sean loved sharks. He loved their streamlined shape. He loved their dark, blank eyes. He loved their big mouths full of sharp teeth. He loved how they could sneak up on something tasty and grab it with one big bite. Sean thought about sharks all the time. When Sean ate, he opened his mouth wide for each bite. Sean watched shark videos, knew all the shark movies by heart, and had 127 shark books. At recess, Sean opened his mouth very wide and chased the other kids, especially Stacy, who screamed the loudest. Sean loved how everything got out of the way of a shark. On Monday, Miss Mitchell told the class they would each learn about a different predator. Sean leapt out of his chair and yelled, I get the shark! I get the shark! Please sit down, Sean. Everyone gets a chance for the shark. Each of you may pick one animal from the bowl. The animal Sean picked was not shark. It wasn't even lion or tiger or grizzly bear or orca or Tyrannosaurus rex. It was a leopard seal, Seal. whispered Sean. Great white shark was picked by Stacy. Sean said, I'll trade with you. He said, I have to be shark. He said, I'll bring you cookies every day. Stacy shook her head. She smiled. She opened her mouth wide, very wide. At home, Sean looked through his shark books, hoping that what he remembered about sharks and seals was wrong. It wasn't wrong. He hoped Stacy wouldn't find out. She found out. Tuesday on the playground, Stacy leaned close and said, Did you know that sharks eat seals? Sean nodded. Not if they can't catch them. Stacy opened her mouth very wide and ran as fast as she could, but she couldn't catch Sean. Sean loved how a seal could twist itself around in an instant and zip off in a different direction. The more Sean read about seals, the more he loved seals. He loved their streamlined shape and the patterns on their smooth fur. He loved their big brown eyes. He loved their sharp little teeth. And he loved how they could sneak up on something tasty like a penguin and grab it with one bite. The more Stacy read about sharks, the more she loved sharks, and the more she chased Sean during recess, and after school, day after day, until Friday when Sean stopped running and faced Stacy. You're not much of a shark if you can't even catch a seal. Stacy closed her mouth. Her eyes were not blank. On Saturday, Sean remembered something about people. He filled his wagon with 126 shark books and pulled it to Stacy's house. Sean loved seals. He also loved sharks. And he knew that even a fast and clever seal could never be friends with a shark. Well, almost never. <laughs>